green shield, the sun beats down on the shapes of deserted houses, on willow bush and firewood, and the white grass of Parnassus, on stones of fire and bedroom, hearts hidden in bed grass, a doorway, a threshold, a beginning. Here, snail and bunting have made their shelter. Peace is life continuing, oblivious without us. Our better selves, our children, here in this hollow of ruins. A burst of rapid chatter from the nest. Into the de shadowed, dark and tarry upturned boat shed flits a swallow. <coughs> Last month that was safe in the egg, the egg secure in the nest. The nest shrug tight in the scarfed oak frames of the upturned wreck. Its planks stiffened with sailcloth and its sails with tar, and heaped inside from gunnel to keel, anchors, rope, oars, woodworm and rust, all the island possessed. And out of the white egg, out of the nest, the cupped hands of the boat beached, never to sail again, into the sun and the wind's currents, bursts a bullet, the blue of Africa on its wings, in its bandit's mask, the red flash of desert, already burning in its skull, a spelt of magnet. The dog aboard its midst. Summer in November, low blue lines of the fire. Never trust the weather, boys. Hourglass, black storm on the water. Black tick -tick 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 of the sky. Cobwebs doing the lawn. Better watch the tide. Flanting over the snook, over gossip. That skywriting, ominous, ancient, far away. Frightening, almost legible. Whose hand, whose voice whispers over vast distances, ice creaking in it, snow. No one. But for miles at the tide's edge, geese, dark struggles of them, raise old hymns, gutturals, and venom stirring in its sleep, in its own rank. Spicy smells, it dribbles, it ooze, its salt juices, its tidal creeks, opens itself to the sky, to the world, absorbs streams, strings of cells pouring down from nowhere into one dark body. A rattle, a squabble, a whole hullabaloo, trying to make sense of its singleness, an orchestra, tuning its thousand primitive instruments, half bagpipe. Half trumpet. And day breaks. On the mainland, a beel from behind the island, flooding the sands, the mud, as far as Ross Beacons. At Fenham Lemoor, the narrow road runs down to the shore. Balanced on this edge, a kind of church, a refuge, a place to be still and listen. All day, they arrive at the hide, wash in and leave. The retired insurance salesman from Hull, the grandmother from Liverpool, with their telescopes, tripods, flasks, on their way to another place. But another place is here, as the tide creeps in, a living, breathing lung, its shallows flooding, slowly filling, draining again, its shadows lengthening. A place where hawthorn and robin meet face to face with salt grass and just as the season ripens and turns and again the evening darkens, widgeon gather under the mill, their voices carrying sky and winter from long ago and farther than any road. Now you, step out of your element, listen, closer. In this moment, there is no one not a migrant on his way to another place. As the island catches fire in the sunset and the mirror of the mud flats and the water returns it whole, desire catches you like the tide. That longing to belong here, that hunger for a likeness across so great a distance, no telescope can bridge it and flight its only answer. 
creeping, seeping, icy, salty, soft, and slowly, the wet, sinuous, winding, widening, bitter, ready, seeping, creeping, infiltrating, emigrant, pilgrim, refugee, drenching, drenching, inundated, asylum seeker.